I want you to picture this for a second. You're back in the third grade. Not a worry in the world other than the fact that chop suey is on the school lunch menu for the day. It's almost the end of May. It's a little humid. School's almost out for the year. So the teacher decides that we're just gonna, you know, have an art project day. So she pulls down the 20 year old art supplies box that's been in stashed away in the cabinets all year. You're excited. You rip off the top of the box and wham! Just uppercut with by the overwhelming stink bomb that the decade old Crayolas have been working on for the past semester. Picture that. I can almost smell it right now. Now, how would you like to have that happen every time you plop down into your car on a hot summer day? Well, if you happen to own an older Volkswagen, this is a very real thing. And today, we're going to get to the bottom of why Volkswagens just so happen to smell like that Crayola 96 count with the built-in sharpener. Or Rose Art. All right, I'm not judging. It's just that we all know Crayola was better. Anyway, let's kick it all the way back to the mid-2000s. Somewhere like, I don't know, 2007. That works. MySpace was booming. Netflix had just started started to stream movies and online car forums were all the rage. I, on the other hand, was probably building plastic models in a poorly ventilated space. Doesn't matter, probably matters now, I don't know. But I do know that around this time, people were flooding to the online forums wondering why their 2002 Jetta that they had just purchased had an interesting crayon smell to it. And at the time, no one really had an answer. This odor had people deep cleaning their interiors, checking in air vents and under the seats for, I don't know, half of the razzmatazz that may have got lodged somewhere from the previous owner's kid, but there was never anything. No one ever found anything. After these initial searches came up with no results, owners started to dig further into these cars until they eventually found a few key suspects. The first one being a wax-like substance that was being found around the doors and other panels of the vehicle. And the second being the sound deadening and insulation material that was underneath the carpet and inside the dashboard. All I can picture is some dude just losing his mind trying to find a loose yellow green crayon in the car somewhere and it just drove him so crazy that he just started ripping out the carpet in the dashboard until he found something. Either way, the source had been located. Now, a lot of people will argue that it's one over the other, but I think it's fair to say that it's a little bit of everything since both of these things have one key ingredient in common. What is that key ingredient, you might ask? Well, it's of course, paraffin wax. It was found and now known that Volkswagen used paraffin wax as a coating and a sealant throughout a bunch of their vehicles. This was used to help seal things such as doors, the underside of the car, and coat the backside of panels to help prevent against ruts, which is really interesting considering the fact that almost every 2000s Volkswagen that I know of has rusted fenders. The insulation material also utilizes the same paraffin wax, which is why if you were to look at the sound deadening material, you will notice a slight sheen to it. So why in the world does this smell so much? Much like crayons, well, because it's literally what it is. Crayons are essentially a stick of paraffin wax. The only difference is that it has, you know, a little bit of color added to it. And as we all know, this has a very distinct scent, and this scent is very unnatural. It almost smells fake and manufactured, which I think is why it's one of the reasons it's so noticeable, especially when it's on the inside of your car. It also has a tendency to break down over time and become more potent, which is why a lot of these cars, when they were rolling off the production line and landed in the hands of their first owners, really wasn't noticed. It wasn't that big of a deal because no one really noticed it. It hadn't started to give off that odor that we know now. However, after a few years and with the help of these cars baking in the sun for a while, this wax started to break down and give off that distinctive smell. Now, believe it or not, this feature of Volkswagen has gotten a bit of a following around it. So much to the point where people want these cars specifically for it, which is great because there are a lot of people out there who don't want it at all, which leads to the question, is it possible to get rid of that smell? And a short answer, not really. Since this wax is used pretty much throughout the entire car, even down to some of the plastics in the car, it would be almost impossible to get rid of it all within reasonable means. Some owners insist that the entire problem resides within the sound dampening material itself and have gone through and replaced all of the OEM material with new aftermarket stuff, which would definitely help. However, I don't think you'll ever be able to get rid of it entirely. No matter how many black ice bombs you let loose in that thing, it's just gonna become a box of scented crayons at that point. The good or bad news, depending on how you look at it, I guess, is that this is a pretty contained issue that really only affected the early 2000s Volkswagen. Pretty much anything from the Mark IV era. However, you will find a similar issue in Audi, Mercedes, and even some Volvo vehicles from that same era as 
are all using a similar product in their cars to do the same thing. So until the end of time, your early 2000s Volkswagens will continue to smell like a kid's crayon box. And that's just kind of how it's gonna be. And unfortunately, if you wanna get rid of it, you're gonna have to do quite a bit, like literally strip down the car to its bare metal and then rebuild it yourself. But I don't think everyone wants to do that. So we'll just leave it to the people who enjoy the smell and enjoy the Mark IV Volkswagen. So if you ever wonder why, you know, you hop into a car and it smells the way that it does, just know that it might be the wax that they decided to put throughout the whole vehicle. But if you do happen to own one of these and you're looking to modify your Crayola 96 count, make sure you mod your car at Martini Works.